I didn't like the comparison that you made between me and what is her name? Casey Anthony, who murdered her kid and then put her in the trunk so that she could go party. I thought that was not very nice. Okay. So let me, I'll explain a couple things to you here first. Um, I'll, I'll get to the epiphany phase in just a second, but um, when I brought up Casey Anthony, I was using that as the most extreme example of what I call the kill to party dynamic. Okay. And what that is, is that women who have their children much younger realize that is a, an obstacle. It is a hindrance to them seeking out and finding another partner, finding a guy who is better off for what they think, at least at that time is, would be a, have been a better pairing for them while they are still within that sort of threshold of say like 18 to 28 years old, where I call it the party years, other people call it the hoe phase, whatever you want to call it. You know, when, when you're having your fun and you're, you know, it's, it's when you can, um, uh, when you can build things a little bit more, when women have, are at their prime agency, like I said before, like we were just talking a second ago, is uh, 23 is where I peg most women at being that their sexual market value peak years. I say that for a number of reasons. Um, primarily, it's because that's when men find w women the most attractive, right? During that sort of 18 to 28 era. Um, however, when women have a child such as you at 23 years old, it tends to put a damper on finding a guy who's better than say the guy that they ended up divorcing or the guy that they ended up marrying and then divorcing during that time. So that was the example that I was using. I, I think what happens is this is when I do something like that, when I, when I use an example such as Casey, and I'm not saying, and I even said this, I don't know how many times during that, that uh, four hour video, I'm not saying that that's what you wanted to do. Okay. I'm just using Casey Anthony as one prime example of that. I used other examples as well. Brittany Renner, for example, um, locking down PJ Washington with the kid when, when the time was right for her, she of course is 29 years old as well. Um, so I was using her as an example, but people hone in on something as extreme as say like Casey Anthony, I tried to present the fact that that was the extreme example of that. However, the more general example of that dynamic is that when women have are become single mothers, particularly when they become single mothers at an early age, it makes them less marketable in the sexual marketplace. That's what I was getting at. But of course, everyone in the comments goes, he just compared you to Casey Anthony. Well, Not the thumbnail, the thumbnail did have me. And I do thank you for picking a, a well, good picture me, of me, me, by the way, but it did have me and then kill to party. Well, let me, ex let me to explain that. to you the dynamics of thumbnail creation, which you maybe already know. But when you put people's face on there, when you put people's recognizable faces on there, when you have to see the whites of their eyes, and you're not the first one I've ever done this with, by the way, that's simply how you get impressions on YouTube right now. I, you know, I'll, I'll be all above board with that because I'm not the first one to, to, to figure this out. And oh, I don't definitely do. So, so when definitely. you do something like that, then it gets, then it draws, like I've said this before is like, I understand that there's a salaciousness. There's the TMZ effect, right? It's the, it's the, you want to give, give your audience the red meat. However, when I do so, I'm trying to give them steak with the sizzle. So I'm not doing it just to say, Oh, look here, here's what she did. Right. That's, that's not my point. I say that in the beginning of every single one of my videos, especially when I go after somebody who I, I think it would make a good example of a particular like illustration of a dynamic that I'm talking about. I talked about uh, Emma, was it Emma Thorne, I think is what her name was. I talked about her on, on a couple of different occasions. Um, and, you know, people don't have a problem with that because that's Emma Thorne. And then you're Michaela Peterson. So when I do a thumbnail like of her, nobody's saying, oh, you, she just compared, he, you know, he just compared you to such and such. It's not an attack piece video. I don't try to do, I don't do reaction videos. I don't do like takedown videos or anything like that. If I think that somebody serves as a good illustration for a dynamic that I've written about in the past or that I'm talking about currently, you know, with whatever that I'm doing, then yes, I'll do that because it's a recognizable say, oh, okay, now I get what he's saying. So it's, it's more of like an illustration rather than like, oh, I'm going to take you down. And every single video that I do this in, I put out the standard caveat. This is not about the individual. This is about what's going on. So let's talk about what the dynamic is. Not about, it's not an attack, but this is YouTube. This is Twitter. This is Instagram. This is social media. So everybody wants to see like a, what we call a YouTube blood sport. They want to see like, oh, did you see that he compared you to this? Did he see you compared you to that? I talked about this uh, recently on um, on Elijah Schaefer's show as well. So um, it's it's there's this 
um, I think there's this need for people to have sort of this get get a rise out of you. I was on with, I was on you are here with Elijah Schaefer and um, Sydney Watson and uh, Ariel I forget her last name Scarcella or Scarella. She's the you know lesbian uh, you know t- uh, traditional conservative I guess now. And when I was on there and we were having our back and forth, everyone in the chat wanted us to like be at each other's throats, right? Because mm-hmm. they're, they're looking for that. It's, it's bread and circuses. So when I put something out like that, or if, it, if there's a, some kind of comparison to you to like, say, Casey Anthony, that's not my intent to do that, but that's what the audience wants to see. You see what I'm saying? So maybe you're getting a wrong impression as to like, I'm not trying to make you look like Casey Anthony. I just mentioned you in the same show as Casey, Casey Anthony. Okay. I guess I just don't usually play into that. Like on my channel, I get the clickbaity well, stuff, you but if I'm like do. doing it, probably do. Just, no, I, I really do don't as you're doing it though. No, I really don't. I definitely have not made an indirect comparison between someone and someone who murdered her child and put her in a trunk. Well, that was not my intent anyways. Okay. Well, I'm really glad to hear that. That makes me feel better. 